Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber, coming back at you with another beer. This was sent to me by Dan. We did a little beer trade. Go watch the uh, unboxing video. This is Brew Gentleman Double Weapons. It is a double double IPA made with mosaic and citra hops. It is 8% alcohol by volume. It doesn't seem to have a... I don't know if they do... I'm assuming they don't do these as like, um, since it's got like a label and stuff on it. I don't, I don't think that they do it, um, on demand or maybe they do, but, um, so I don't know how old it is, but, but, uh, let's get into it. I guess let's just drank it. <clears throat> uh, so thank you, Dan. Also, super cool to see breweries doing 12-ounce cans of huge IPAs. I like <clears throat> I like this label. There's something about it that I... Like, the, the thing up top looks like a QR code kind of thing. Anyway, yeah, that's a, that is a dark orange. That is, that looks like orange juice. Absolutely. Get a little bit of shadow through it. Yeah. That looks like a little darker in the middle. Finger of This soapy head. It's giving me a little bit of like bubble bath vibes, but yeah. Did I say finger? Now it's almost two fingers. Uh, yeah, let's see what it smells like. Very green. There's almost like a mintiness to it. I don't use this word very often in reviews, uh, but it is a bit dank, I believe is the proper term. Yeah, citrus, uh, a little bit of um, like uh, pithy citrus. I feel like I might be getting a little bit of like fruit cocktail vibes too. So it smells really good. Let's see what it uh, tastes like. Cheers. Thanks, Dan. Ooh. What is that? That first sip, I got this crazy, huge, like fruity thing. Kind of reminded me of, um, I'm not going to say the fruitiness reminded me of it, but like the, um, kind of like the texture and the flavor and like kind of all of it together. Rem like the first thing that popped into my head was what the fuck kind of fruit is this? Because this tastes awesome uh, because I'm terrible at just like knowing things. So, so I want to say mango, mango, it's like a mango pineapple thing. I don't know. But the other thing that popped into my head was uh, it immediately reminded me of something that I haven't thought about in years, but you know those um, those candy bracelets and necklaces I think they made? I think they made necklaces. But the candy bracelets that you put on and you're like, that's what it reminded me of. Fun, fun fact. Man. 
This beer is kind of awesome and kind of disappointing because that fruit thing isn't hitting the same way as it is as it did in that first sip. I mean, it's still the fruitiness is still there, but um, it uh. Yeah, and obviously uh, there's no date on this can, so I, don't, I can't speak to how old it is or anything. But after that first sip, that, that fruitiness kind of takes a back seat and that bitterness is kind of huge. Like, uh, pithy, citrusy with that, it doesn't, it, it comes off more like, I'm actually glad I said it because I wasn't going to say it, but uh, the fruit cocktail thing, that little bit of fruit cocktail thing in the nose that I got, that's how that fruitiness is coming off now uh, after all the sips after that first sip. That first sip, it, it was a huge, I want to say it was mango, pineapple, tropical, I'll just say tropical kind of thing. Awesome. I'm getting a little bit of, I'm getting a little bit of it, of that fruity thing, like in the aftertaste now, but holy shit, that, that, this is, I don't think I've had a brew gentleman beer before I want to say, or at least I don't think I've had an IPA from them. I don't know, but I don't know if I finished the thought that I was that I was talking about, but that that fruity thing now kind of comes off like a like just like a generic fruit cocktail kind of in the back of it, and that bitterness and that pithiness kind of take over um, compared to that first sip, obviously. Man, mm, I want that first sip again. I want it back. Maybe I just have to, maybe I just have to keep drinking it until my palate gets used to the bitterness and then it'll come back. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I feel like I've had like not a ton, but uh, like beers that I went into thinking, yeah, this is just going to be like another thing or I'm sure this is going to be fine. Whatever. I've, I've really like driven it home for me. I'm going to take a sip of water. Maybe I can get some of that back. Also that bitterness is building up a little bit. Drying out my mouth. Hmm. It didn't come back. It came back a little bit, but not not how it was when I first drank it. But yeah, uh, this is awesome, and it's eight uh, percent. I'm getting like a little. As far as the alcohol goes, I am getting a little bit of like a sensation around my mouth that is telling me that I am drinking something that's higher alcohol. But as far as taste, as far as like, I'm not really getting a warming sensation or anything like that. I'm not even slurring my warrior or anything. Um, uh, but yeah. Yeah. That's that's actually weird. I, I don't think I've had a beer give me this sensation before. Hmm. This is super good. Super awesome. I know I try to lean uh, towards picking out all the the uh, 
the nice things about a beer, even if I'm not a fan of it. And I feel like sometimes when I drink a beer like this, it kind of saying that in t like treating other beers like that kind of takes away from a beer like this, where it is actually like beyond uh, anywhere near what those other beers are or whatever. I don't know. Thank you, Dan. Man. Hmm. I'm still super upset that I'm not getting that fruity thing that I got in that first set. I am upset about that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, again, thank you, Dan. And uh, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. That's spelled out 93lumber. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.